America is in the middle of a difficult campaign against Iraq. The U.S. is leading a broad-based coalition of the nations from across the free world. In other words, Great Britain and Spain. <laughs> Many observers have noted that France is not among the allies standing behind the United States. And may I just say, well, well, well. In other words, don't take it too hard. The French column in the warfare box scores suggest they probably wouldn't be much help anyway. I mean, it's well known that when danger is afoot, no one is quicker to hop out of the way than France. And like the old song says, Mr. Frog is full of hops. <laughs> hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Here now are some highlights from the French military history. The Gaelic Wars, a loss. In a war whose ending foreshadows the next 2,000 years of French history, France is conquered by, of all things, an Italian. <laughs> The Hundred Years' War, a narrow win at the buzzer. <laughs> France is saved at the last possible minute by Joan of Arc, a female schizophrenic <laughs> who established the first rule of French warfare. France's armies are victorious only when not led by a Frenchman. <laughs> the Italian Wars, Lost. <laughs> France becomes the first and only country to ever lose two wars when fighting Italians. <laughs> the wars of religion. Lost. <laughs> France goes zero, five, and four against the Huguenots. <laughs> the Thirty Years' War. France is technically not a participant in this war, but manages to get invaded anyway. <laughs> they claim this one was a tie, on the basis that eventually the other participants started ignoring them. <laughs> the War of the Spanish Succession. Lost. <laughs> but this war did not give the French their first taste of a Marlboro, which they have loved ever since. The American Revolution. France claims a win, even though the American colonists saw 90% of the action. This is known as the second rule of French warfare. France only wins when America does most of the fighting. The French Revolution. Believe it or not, a win. This is primarily due to the fact that the opponent was also French. The Franco-Prussian War. Lost. <laughs> Germany plays the role of drunken frat boy to France's ugly girl home alone on Saturday night. <laughs> World War I. A tie at best. Peeing in their little pants on the way to losing, France is once again saved by the United States. Thousands of French women find out what it's like not only to sleep with a winner, <laughs> but one who doesn't call her Fraulein. <laughs> World War II. Lost. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> well, we shouldn't be too surprised the French won't help us get Saddam out of Iraq. After all, they didn't even help us get Hitler out of France. <laughs> The war in Indochina. Everybody lost. lost. France hands Vietnam off to America like a drunk dumping a fat girl on his buddy in order to get in order to get her better looking friend. B by the way, the better looking friend never showed up. The Algerian rebellion. Lost. lost. This marked the first defeat of a Western nation by a Muslim army since the Crusades and produces the first rule of Muslim warfare. We can always beat the French. <laughs> this rule is identical to the first rules of the Italians, the Russians, the Germans. 
English, <laughs> Dutch, Spanish, <laughs> Vietnamese, and pygmies. <laughs> Gulf War Part 1. As the teenagers say, yeah, right. <laughs> the war on terrorism. Before the first shot is ever fired, France surrenders to the Germans and Muslims just to be safe. <laughs> and finally, Gulf War Part 2. Before the first shot is fired here, France surrenders to Alec Baldwin, Sean Penn, George Clooney, and Barbara Streisand. And some pygmies. There you have it. A salute to the French military. And as the saying goes, France, they're always there when they need us. 